What's happening guys, it's Shane here and today we're gonna be talking about the highest paying engineering degrees and engineering jobs. So this was a very popular one I did last year and a lot of people in the comments section wanted me to do it again this year, especially everything that's happened in the last few years, totally makes sense because the job market is different. So without further ado, right after you gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, let's jump right into it with number 10 on the list, which is nuclear engineering. So keep in mind, I'm not gonna go too far into the details here. This is a personal finance channel, and so I am going to keep it you know, more related to personal finance. And so we are gonna be focusing on salary here. However, keep in mind, very, very important that you are passionate about whatever you do. Don't ever go into something just for the money. That being said, nuclear engineering in general is extremely exciting. It's actually one of my favorite topics. Um, I personally think that nuclear engineering and nuclear energy is going to be the future when it comes to what we use to power vehicles and houses etc there's going to be a lot of different types of energy solar is going to be great as well of course but I do think that nuclear engineering when it's all said and done is going to be the number one but to be honest with you that might be a very long time from now 50 years 100 years who knows now when it comes to how much you can expect to get paid with a nuclear engineering degree early career you'll start off making seventy three thousand dollars a year and mid career is going to be around 124,000. And this is according to payscale.com, which in my opinion is probably the best source when it comes to figuring out how much you're going to make depending on what degree you select. Now, if you do decide to become a nuclear engineer as your career, you can expect to make around $113,000 a year, according to BLS, which is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now, what's a little bit scary here is it shows a 13% decline in the amount of jobs available over the next 10 years. Years. Anytime you work in the energy industry, whether it be natural gas, uh, nuclear, solar, etc., uh, there is a lot of fluctuation depending on many factors that you cannot control. How well the economy is doing, whether we're in a war, whether we're not in a war, is there some type of economic crash? There is just a lot of different things that are going to affect your job prospects. Now, some of the different types of nuclear engineering you might end up working in are going to be commercial power services, defense complex, uh, DOE waste management, naval propulsion, reactor startups, national lab R&D, commercial power utilities, utilities, etc. Most of these different types of jobs will only require a bachelor's level degree. However, some of them might want you to have a master's or in very rare cases, a PhD. Number nine on the list is going to be computer systems engineering. So this one is basically a combination of computer science, mathematics, and computer engineering. And this combination of skill sets basically helps people to figure out how technology is going to better fit into people's business lives as well as some sometimes personal lives. Now with this one, you can expect to make about $74,000 a year starting out and 124,000 in mid career pay. Now there's a bunch of different career paths you might go down with this one. Uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunity in the technology industry, which you would likely be working in. But one of them would of course be a computer engineer and they make about $117,000 a year. Another one might be a computer systems analyst and they make around $90,000 a year. Now you could get this degree and end up becoming a software developer that's not completely uncommon however generally speaking you're going to be focusing more on the hardware side of things so if somebody gets like a computer science degree they're definitely going to be going on the software side of things so think you know a company like google or apple or netflix something along those lines whereas if you go into the hardware side of things you might end up working for a company like intel google of course focuses on software and if you're watching this right now you're probably watching it on google software Whereas Intel would focus more on the hardware side of things. So something like a computer chip. Number eight on the list is going to be marine engineering. And this basically includes the engineering side of anything that is in or around the ocean. So this would include submarines, boats, oil rigs, or those cool houses that float on the ocean. With this degree, you would expect to make around $74,000 a year starting out and $125,000 in mid-career pay. Now you might become a marine engineer or a naval architect and BLS has them making around $92,000 a year. 
Number seven on the list is going to be aeronautical or aerospace engineering. This is the degree that my dad got. And hey, dad, if you're watching this and uh, anybody who is really obsessed with airplanes, aircrafts, jets, rockets, uh, all kinds of different things that fly through the air uh, really, really likes it. OK, so if you know anybody who's like obsessed with flying, you know that they're really obsessed with flying. That's definitely what my dad's like. Sometimes I would walk into the living room and he would just be watching hours and hours of some like mini helicopter flying. And he says that he wants to get it. But yeah, with this one, you would expect to make around seventy one thousand dollars a year starting out and one hundred and twenty five thousand in mid career pay. According to BLS, if you were to become an aerospace engineer, you would expect to make around $116,000 a year. Now, this is another one of those industries where it's extremely up and down depending on a bunch of factors that you truly cannot control or predict. So when the corona and the lockdowns happened, for instance, the aerospace industry was absolutely devastated. This took some of the biggest hits out of any industry out there. So something to keep in mind, it's very up and down. But if you're somebody who really loves airplanes, jets, anything that flies through the air, then this is definitely one for you to look at. Number six on the list is going to be chemical engineering and this one is basically chemistry mixed with engineering and it's used to create and also transform different types of materials and it's also used to efficiently transport and transform energy now with this one you can expect to make around seventy three thousand dollars a year starting out and one hundred and twenty eight thousand in mid-career pay and according to bls if you did become an engineer you could expect to make around one hundred and eight thousand dollars a year now this one is relatively nice because it's a little more flexible than some of the other types of engineering degrees. So for instance, as a chemical engineer, you can work in a lot of the same jobs that petroleum engineers can work in, but it doesn't necessarily work the other way. Number five on the list is going to be electrical power engineering. Now you might be a little bit confused about this one because it sounds a lot like electrical engineering and so was I. So if you consult the Oracle, AKA Google, what they say is, Power engineering, also called power systems engineering, is a subfield of electrical engineering that deals with the generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization of electric power and the electrical apparatus connected to such systems. So yeah, it's basically a subfield of electrical engineering and it kind of focuses on systems. And with this one, you can expect to make around $73,000 a year starting out and 130,000 in mid-career pay. Now, one career path you might go down is becoming an electronics or an electrical engineer, and they make around $101,000 a year. Now, this is commonly known as power engineering. And if you go into this field, you will likely be working in some type of construction. And so some of the different things you could be working in would be design engineering, field engineering, uh, renewables, utilities, project management, distribution, gas and oil, and design and field work. So there's a ton of different options out there for you. The next one on the list, number four, is going to be systems engineering. Now, this is a really interesting one because it kind of combines the engineering skill set with a management skill set. And particularly, it would be kind of like project management. So if you're familiar with what project managers do, they kind of take a bunch of different, you know, people, you know, they might be working with some electrical engineers and some uh, mechanical engineers and some aerospace engineers and a bunch of different people. And then they figure out how they can have all of them work together, even though they might be working on separate components to whatever they're creating, whether it's like an aircraft or a car. And this, of course, can be incredibly difficult for someone who doesn't understand the basics of engineering. And so what systems engineers are great at is they're kind of like a jack of all trades. And so they know a little bit about everything, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, etc. And then they have that project management skill set as well, because it's really difficult for somebody who is a business person to understand what's going on in the engineering world. So with this degree, you can expect to make around $74,000 a year starting out and 132,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming an industrial engineer and BLS has them making around 88,000 a year. So yeah, this is a great one because it combines two incredibly important skill sets and there are very few people out there that have both. I'll also say that this one, as well as a lot of other engineering degrees, uh, just in general, is great if you want to maybe someday start your own business. Engineers are practical problem solvers and so that's basically 
what business is, is solving problems. And then with this one, especially if you have the project management skills, it is going to segue incredibly well into starting your own business someday. And I didn't mention this in this video, but engineering is actually the number one degree that creates the most millionaires. The next one on the list is going to be a combination of chemical engineering and material science engineering. Now, materials engineering is all about the design and discovery of new materials. And usually these end up being solids. So think of Silicon Valley and all the conductors that go into making things like computer chips. And that is just getting better and better every year because they're figuring out how to make it even more efficient. And then we already went over what chemical engineering is. So a lot of the time with this combination of degrees, you would be working in the technology industry and specifically you would be working in hardware. But with this one, you can expect to make around $74,000 a year starting out and 137,000 in mid-career pay. And according to BLS, materials engineers make around $93,000 a year. The next one on the list is going to be a killer combo, which is electrical engineering and computer science. So everybody knows what computer science is. I've talked about it many times on this channel, but this is one where you combine basically the software side of things, which is computer science, with the hardware side of things, which would be electrical engineering. And that is a combination of skills that very, very few people have. So with this one, you would expect to make a ridiculous $101,000 a year starting out and $152,000 in career pay. So yes, you're literally starting at six figures. Now, one career path you might go down is becoming an electrical engineer and they make around $101,000 a year. So yeah, extremely solid combo there. Additionally, you would be working in the tech industry, which their companies are known for giving people bonuses and stock options. So you'd be making a lot more than just your base salary. And on top of that, they have incredibly good benefits. And if you want to start your own business, it's one of the easiest industries to have success in. No, Number one on the list is going to be petroleum engineering. This one is no surprise to anybody who's looked into this. This is actually the highest paying degree, period. And this basically has everything to do with the engineering involved in the oil and gas industry. So you'll be studying a lot of crude oil, natural gas, and the production of hydrocarbons. Now with this one, you can expect to start off making around $92,000 a year and $182,000 in mid-career pay. So you do start off making a little bit more with that combination that I talked about before. However, mid-career pay, this one is supposed to at least catch up. Now BLS has petroleum engineers making around $136,000. $7,000 a year. Now I do have to mention this is another one where it fluctuates a lot. Anything that is related to the energy industry is going to fluctuate a lot. There's going to be times where a ton of people get laid off and then there's going to be other times where they're hiring like crazy. And so a lot of people like to get a chemical engineering degree instead, which is a little bit more flexible. That way they can work in petroleum engineering if they want to, but they'll also have other job prospects as well. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead gently tap that like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts comments criticisms etc that you have on the video and i will see you next time